Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, December 5th. 2020 free pick coming up in college football in a moment. Hey, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the video, free $60 account. Great way to give DocSports a trial run. All right, we're cutting this uh, early Friday evening, late afternoon Friday, if you're out here on the West Coast, and uh, talking some Big Ten football in just a moment. We have six plays to go in college and pro football, including our top play in college, a six-star play on Saturday, and a seven-star underdog game of the month in the NFL on Sunday. Six plays in all, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday games included, all available right now in case you haven't jumped on board as of yet over at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage. I'll also be involved in college basketball. We got a Friday game about to tip off. Uh, but we'll be involved in college basketball on Saturday. I do have a soccer play on Saturday. Check it all out over at DocSports.com. Heading into this Friday night game that we're about to watch, we are 7-0 over the last eight days in college basketball with our sides. Uh, so we'll look to uh, stay hot over the weekend, all right? So let's uh, get to the free pick for today. Without further ado, it's the matchup between Ohio State and Michigan State. You know about the Buckeyes. They've had some issues with COVID. Uh, they've had a couple of weeks off, some extra time to rest up, get over the win against Indiana, get over a little sloppiness, I guess you could say, against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Here's the thing. They're not going to have their head coach. You've already heard that on the sideline, apparently, due to COVID and due to a quarantine. Uh, but I expect this team to roll. They've got to drop the clutch. They want to be able to play in the Final Four, obviously, when it comes to the college football playoffs. And in order to do so, this team needs to not only win, but to put some style points on the board also. I expect that against this Michigan State team. You'll recall uh, we went against Michigan State and played Iowa as our top play so far this entire year. Eight-star play, Iowa about a five-and-a-half point favorite, goes on to win 49-7. to seven. Michigan State was fresh off that win over Michigan. We found out what Michigan's made of ever since, right? Michigan State beats Northwestern last week. Listen, Northwestern was overvalued. Look at some of their wins. They escaped Nebraska. They they beat Iowa by one. They beat Purdue by seven. Uh, scored only 17 and a win over a little bit of an overvalued Wisconsin team. So you're talking about Michigan State uh, maybe getting a little bit too much credit for a couple of these so-called upset wins against Northwestern and Michigan. Their offense stinks. They can't run the football. They got a 54% passer. Uh, they're one of the worst teams statistically in total yards per game, points per game, as I mentioned, yards rushing per game. And they give up over 30 points per game on defense. Guys, I really think that Ohio State is going to go for some style points here, and we're going to recommend laying the 23 and a half. I'm looking at my screen right now, and everywhere, Ohio State 23 and a half. We're going to recommend a play on the Buckeyes minus the points over Michigan State. Hey, don't forget to check out my NFL video also. We've got the clash between the Rams and the Cardinals on this week's NFL video. And if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Saturday in the win column. We'll be right back here. In fact, we'll have the NFL play uh, posted on Saturday for Sunday's card. So check that out. Have a great one on Saturday, everybody.